holy cow, I have not recorded a video in quite some time if I do say so myself. What's going on you guys, it is Hunter here and today I have a video that one, a lot of you have been waiting on for quite some time and two, a video that we need to make so you guys can understand what's going on on not only the SMP but also uh, the server in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to announce the giveaway winners at the end of this video uh, but just please watch the whole thing because I know it's going to be like pretty technical, but it also will be kind of exciting because it's about changes that are happening on squared. Not like I said, not just the SP, but like a server as a whole. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, I mean, there, there's really no great way to get into this video. But if you are excited about the changes that are going to be happening that I'm about to lay out for you all, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you check out Squared MC if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below what other recommendations you might have for the server on top of the changes uh, that we are making. I say changes, it's more like upgrades. Uh, ch change sounds bad, change scares people. Upgrade uh, gets excited, it makes make people excited. Unless it's the Snapchat update, then we're, then we're all really excited. Hmm. Anyways, so, the first thing that like a lot of you are going to notice once all these changes are done is we're going to have a new um, server theme and server hub. So the theme is sort of like a futuristic kind of style. Uh, and I've actually drawn some artwork because I'm trying to be an amateur artist because I just bought a drawing tablet. But we're, we're trying to go for like a futuristic theme. So the hub will actually be a uh, space outpost base on a jungle planet and you will notice like when you spawn in that you're like underneath this giant tree but like you're in like a spaceship and then you have like different warp panels and it's like really forested but it looks like futuristic it'll look really cool like we've already started the construction on it it looks pretty good so far it'll look a lot better and a lot more detailed when it's done and i think you guys will really like it but carrying with that theme um we've changed the name of the ranks on the server to um pioneer and that's because like when you're a space adventurer, like you're like a, a, a pioneer, you know, like you're going out, you're exploring, you're doing new things, you're finding new places. And that, that's sort of what we want to promote is exploration. And this is something new and something fresh. And there's so much more for you guys to discover. And uh, I think it's a really good theme for us to carry into square, squared MC. And on top of that, uh, and, and kind of deviating the new ranks are going to be slightly different as well. So right now we just have like donator, like tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Uh, instead of doing that, we're going to have an entirely new list of donator ranks. And the difference will be um, the color of your tag, which everyone will have the pioneer tag, but um, the color will be different. And then we may have or may not have a tag in front of it. And right now it looks like the first tier will be stone, so your tag would go from the basic uh, sort of like orange color to um, like a gray color, but we may have like in front of that uh, pine or like may have like pioneer stone or stone pioneer or something like that or like ST, just something different. And then we would end with obsidian, which would be purple, so the pioneer would be purple instead of gray or orange or any other color. And then it may be like Obsidian Pioneer or Pioneer Obsidian, or, you know, something like that, uh, which is what we're going for. And the next big change is the S&P. So we're about to start season two. Uh, this is the first official announcement of that. So, yes, that's sort of why I've been putting off uh, announcing the winners because we're working on the server changes to begin season two. And I don't want like everyone to like get on season one and then, oh, in two weeks you can still access the world, but that's not the one most of us are going to be playing on. So that that's sort of the change we're going for there. On top of that, the S&P Plus rank is being changed to Pioneer Plus, and how we can work those together is like if you have a different rank, um, we can make it where it says Pioneer Plus, but it reflects the color of your actual rank that you purchased like as a donor. And um, another thing about the Pioneer Plus rank Okay, the old SMP plus rank is it's going up in price from five dollars to ten dollars. Um, the main reason is ten dollars is still pretty affordable, and we're starting to buy plugins for the server. That way, it looks better, not just the SMP but all the servers in general. Uh, and I'll actually go through and tell you like not 
specific plugins, but just like things we're going to implement on the server that you guys should be pretty excited about. Um, but we are raising the price because of that. Uh, and the, that, that'll be pretty exciting. Like I said, we're going to have a new season, so a new world. So it's all completely fresh. Uh, and, and I guess like the next big thing is skyblock. We're not really touching skyblock at all. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to finish the, um, shop in skyblock because a few people play it. I personally want to play it. I haven't had time yet, but I do want to do a series on it, I believe. Um, but we're going to have the skyblock should be fine. Finish the, the, um, shopping area, which is closed off to you guys right now. And that brings me to another big point and another big change is server wide currency. So right now, a lot of you who play survival may know that you have cubes, but you can't use cubes elsewhere, which is good and bad. But I was, I've been pressing with Jordan that we should have a server wide currency. Finally got it. Okay. Finally said we could actually do it instead of maybe. And, um, that's like really exciting news because now any cubes you earn in survival can be used on skyblock, which is just a big deal. I think that means like you'll be able to set up shops in skyblock and survival and you'll be able to like make all this server wide currency. However, the kicker is things are going to go up in price on the server because now it's a server wide currency and you won't just be able to buy things that help you in game, but also we're going to have cosmetics for you to purchase for lobbies. So right now, you know, donators have different cosmetics that they can access for different ranks. But, um, if you have enough cubes, you will be able to buy different cosmetics in the lobbies themselves. Uh, we've talked about a few, I can't give any specifics, but we will have cosmetics for you to purchase with in-game currency. So because of that, their prices will have to be high to make it like actually, um, where like incentivize it in a sense. And then you'll be able to earn currency throughout the entire server. Um, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to have daily loot crates where you can uh, get free cubes uh, daily. Um, not with voting, not with anything like that. Just it's right there in the hub. You click it, you get the box, it opens up and you get a, like a random amount between X number and Y number. So that'll be pretty exciting. Um, another thing is we will still have the vote crates, but they will be server wide as well. I believe another big thing you guys may have noticed outside of the Minecraft server is the discord server has been revamped and updated and changed a lot. It's because with the, um, Minecraft server changes, we're trying to implement those changes on discord. So we're, we're trying to, um, make the two how do I say bring them to the modern age, even though they were in the modern age, we're trying to refresh them in a sense. So that way they're more, uh, uh, appealing to people and friendly and welcoming and organized. That's the big thing is organization. So the next big point is the server survival world is going away. We're restarting the survival world. A lot of you may have work on the previous world. I'll talk to Jordan about keeping that world for download, but as far as it being accessible on the server itself, it will not, we'll have a new survival world for you to go to. There won't be a server shop in the survival world right away. We do plan on having one, but it won't be immediate. And that's just because with all the other changes that are happening, uh, we, we, we need to focus on them more so than the survival shop. And players will still be able to make their shops in the survival world. So you don't have to worry about not being able to purchase anything or anything like that. And hopefully it'll like, kind of, like I said, refresh the server in a way for old players, but also new players who may not have checked out squared before, because now they have, uh, almost like equal standing to touch on the, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm giving a video conference, like a, like a. Uh, corporate, like, here's our game plan. Here's what we're doing. But that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to lay it all out there for you as much as I can. Because I know a lot of you have been really confused about what's been going on with Squared lately. Um, but the, the one thing that's bad about the server-wide currency is we're actually going to have to clear everyone's currency. So the way you can get your, your cubes back is if you can give us evidence and we'll make like a place for you to submit uh, these requests for currency reimbursement. But if you have like 500,000 cubes 
on survival and you go down to zero, if you can show us proof that you had 500,000 cubes in survival, then we will reimburse you for those cubes after everything has changed and everyone goes down to zero. So you can actually get your money back and you'll be able to keep it. Just you have to show us the proof that you actually had it. Because once it's gone, if we don't see the proof, we can't give it to you. But it'll be easy for us to give it to you. We just have to see that evidence. So that's the one kicker, but it's not really a kicker because you can get it back if you already have it. So you shouldn't be too worried. Um, also, if you're worried about the survival world and losing your progress, talk to myself, Jordan, or someone else and get in contact with us because we may be um, able to move the build that you had in survival uh, to the new survival world. I know we're doing that with one person because he spent like 500 hours on his build and he just finished it. So we're like, yeah, dude, we'll move you over. Don't worry about it. And uh, that way he at least doesn't start from, you know, nothing because he's put so much progress in. So we may be willing to do that. It just depends on the case. So feel free to let us know in the Discord as well. Just ping me if you need to, and uh, I will create a channel for people to say, hey, I don't want to lose my cubes. I don't want to lose my base. Uh, here's my playtime, you know, stuff like that. We'll still need to see proof of your playtime and everything. Uh, but if you can give us that, that would be uh, super amazing and super helpful. So I'm pretty sure I touched on all the important topics that I can relay uh, to you guys so far. Um, uh, that that's, that's all I have written down here on my, uh, my handy dandy list. Now, as far as the giveaway for the S and P rank or the pioneer plus rank now, I should call it as far as that giveaway goes, um, I decided to be really nice. And anyone who entered before the cutoff, so the 31st of January, anyone who entered before then wins the S and P plus rank, uh, you gain access to the S and P server. We won't give you access, though, until Season 2 starts. Um, so if you are someone that entered and uh, you're waiting to play, don't worry. Hold on a little bit longer. You did get access. We just haven't granted it to you yet because, like I said, I don't want you to start. And then in two weeks, we start uh, Season 2 and you lose all your progress. Uh, even though you'll be able to go back and play on that world, we won't really be on there that much anymore i'm kind of sad about the revamp in the sense that i was really liking my base i was building but i think we're going like a slightly different direction this time in terms of the youtubers and uh, i think we're going to like live together in one big base this is, so that'll be really cool also i may actually go back and finish that base later on because i will still have access i'm not certain i would like to at least finish the bridge and the, the the front area so it looks pretty good um, but that is the main bulk of that. So like I said, anyone who entered wins, that means you anti, you have been bugging me for over a month about this giveaway. And finally you have gotten your answer. You are a winner of the giveaway. I hope you feel satisfied with that. And I hope you are happy. That is going to do it for the, uh, the update and the giveaway information. Please don't forget that I am doing, uh, at least two other giveaways. Well, I'll say at least I'm doing a giveaway for when I hit 5,000 subscribers, uh, it's a rank upgrade giveaway on Hypixel. And then also I tweeted out like a month and a half ago that if I hit 50,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2018, I'll give away like two different uh, Amazon gift cards. So that's something to incentivize, like telling your friends about the channel and whatnot. Uh, also, don't forget to in, uh, also don't forget to join Hunterkord, which is my Discord server and the Squared MC Discord server. I will link both in the description below. And we also will have staff applications for the MC server, for the Squared server opening soon for moderators and things like that. Uh, just know we're going to be pretty strict with the applications uh, in terms of maturity and age and experience. So if you're someone who's, you know, 11 and you've never modded on a Minecraft server or anything like that, you're less likely to get the position as so as opposed to someone who's like 15 and is like run their own server uh, or, or someone who's like 18 who, who is like a mod on like a really big server. It just depends. So uh, that, that's some information I should have put in earlier, but there you go. There's that little nugget of info that you needed. Uh, again, I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, join both Discord servers, check out Jordan, uh, and I will see you all next time.